Shaq, now, now that the game's over, how much did it bother you guys to hear about how big their offensive line was and how good they ran the ball? Throughout the week? Yeah, throughout, now that it's over. Now that it's over, how do we feel about it? <sighs> we just glad that we got the, the outcome that we wanted, you know. It's been a lot of talk this week, you know, going in, multiple, multiple people on their team, you know, the media, all different types of commentators. It's just, you know, just line it up. And that's what we're able to do. And, you know, it shows. It just shows. What kind of effort, what kind of uh, work did it take to hold them to 2.6 yards per carry tonight? Uh, it took effort from every person that was out there, every person that was rotating. It took effort throughout the week preparing for this team because they were, you know, they, and they are a great, you know, rushing team. So we prepared, prepared, and prepared even more. And then when we came out, it was almost as, as if we were over-prepared. We were on edge. Like, I'd never seen our players like that before. Just, just with all the disrespect that we got, feeling that we were just overlooked constantly. After every win we got, we were still overlooked. We just had to... It was for the culture. It was for the, for the tradition. Jack, did you guys expect to have that kind of speed advantage? Well, I mean, it's Miami. I think we had a speed advantage over a lot of teams. You know, that's what we're known for. We're known for playing with an edge and playing with a chip on our shoulder. And the speed is just is natural. Jack, you guys won the Coastal Division before you even took the field. Then you go and you beat Notre Dame the way you did. When did this night lead to this program? I mean, it's a... It's a it's a tremendous win. You know, it's a tremendous moment for the program, for the city, you know, for the alumni. It's just a great feeling and a great moment as a whole. You know, it, like Casey said, it's been a while coming, you know, and, you know, recruits that stuck by the school, you know, such as, you know, my class, we've seen everything that was happening. We've seen how everybody was just, you know, turning the channel when Miami games were coming on. And now that we're here, it's just a great feeling. You know, it's, it's coming to fruition. That's it. Shaq, is it safe to say that the U is back now? No, we got to get a ring first. <laughs> no. You got to see Bandy go into the end zone. What are yeah. you I, I was thinking that's, that's Muddy Badger right there. I don't know if y'all know him as that, but that's, that's Muddy right there. And he's been making that play all week. So, you know, it's called competitive excellence. That's what we're told. Can you make the play when your number is called? And he did that to the T, you know. First touchdown on defense this season. He just did his thing. I'm proud of him. Jack, did you guys get to watch game day this morning? Um, I'm pretty sure some did. I didn't. I don't. I don't even. I don't like to watch none of that. Jack, you made a, you made a good point. You know, you say you, know, you guys back not until you get a ring. When all this calms down, will people realize that that's what the standard is here? Um, when all the hype for this game? Yes. I believe so. I mean, we've we've just been preaching it, you know, throughout the off season, throughout this season, through every game that the standard is to get the ring. You know, we, we've got our payback from last season, but we, we're not satisfied with that. We still have to keep going. We got Virginia next week, got Pittsburgh after that, and we're just, we're just going to keep working. That's all we can do. How about the energy tonight? How special was that? Sir? The energy tonight, how special was it for you guys? Oh, it was amazing. It was amazing. You know, the, the stadium, the fans. I mean, even at the last weekend, I knew this week it was going to be – it was going to be magical, and that's exactly what it was. I mean, we came out, and I, for someone to say that, you know, our fans didn't do their part for this game, that would be a tremendous lie. You know, the atmosphere, just the, the energy all around, it just all added into this big win tonight. What does having the former players come by uh, do for you guys? Oh, that, uh, it does a lot for us, you know, especially the safeties. Every was at every practice this week. You know, I seen John Beeson on the sideline, and that's, that's my guy. So when you see them still caring about the program the way that they do, you know, you can't help but leave it all out there. You know, I, I just see them rub off on us. You know, Ed Reed talks to the safeties. And then next thing you know, you got Jaquan Johnson barking on the sidelines. And you love it because that's what Miami's all about. You got John Beeson talking about leadership. And the things that they say make sense. You know, those guys actually done it. So how could you not, you know, take heed to what they're saying? Thank you, Chef.